Chloe. I am a PR and ad uh, major, and I'm from Pasadena, California, so like 40 minutes away from Chapman. So I'm Summer. I'm a public relations and advertising major, and I'm from Hawaii. Hi, I'm Lonnie. I'm a creative producing major, and I'm from Los Gatos, California. Hi, I'm, my name's Gwendolyn. I'm from Illinois, and my major is film production with an emphasis in production design. Hi, I'm JT Salcedo. I'm in film production here at Chapman. I'm from La Cunada, California. Awesome. I am Kevin Huang from the Bay Area, and I major in computer science. Hi, I'm Michael. I'm an electrical engineering major from Danville, which is in the Bay Area. And what would you say to yourself a year ago when you were applying to colleges? Oh, uh, probably don't do like a bunch of APs, because like half of them don't count for anything. And check your GEs to make sure you're doing APs that actually count for them. Don't be so stressed because honestly, things will happen and you'll just have to kind of deal with it and it's okay. Don't be too stuck up on the anticipation part. Just live through your senior year. When I was applying to colleges, I didn't really know what I wanted from a college. I didn't know if I wanted it to be big or small. And I think I would just tell myself to be a little bit more selective. To relax and that everything works out for a reason. Apply to more film stuff. I definitely try to do a lot more business side of things and luckily I lucked out here at Chapman in terms of you know being able to pursue film I just wish I had to you know kind of push myself more in that you know knowing how far I was able to get what is something you wish someone told you about college everyone is growing up in like a very pivotal time in freshman year so like you're gonna feel really overwhelmed which I think no one told me it's just, like stress but not like stress in classes it's like just being overwhelmed with like it's just new things and it's really fast but you'll get used to it. You will make friends no matter what. Like, it'll work out one way or another. Just join clubs or branch out to other people in your major or your classes, and you're not gonna be friends with everyone that you meet, but you, one way or another, you will find your group. What, one thing that I wish I, like, kept in there a little bit was, like, just how much you learn about, like, yourself like you're in a whole different situation a whole new place and it's like you're a lot stronger than you think you are kind of thing so I think that's probably something that you know you should reiterate like I'm sure people tell you that but keep thinking that I think you should go to all the freaking free stuff that they do on campus like the free like they had a free everything like they had free movie friendship, nights, movie nights Friendship bracelets. Free food. Free food. Painting. You go Mashed to that. Potatoes. Painting. Painting was the best thing ever. You need just go to them. Just be like, oh, I don't have class this time. I'm going to get some of my butts together. You pay for it. <laughs> yeah, literally, you're paying for it for your tuition, so just go. Okay, sorry, JT. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to say that. <laughs> okay. JT I put a will be back with the show. <laughs> Finding your people sometimes takes longer than you expect. Um, that's definitely something I kind of dealt with for the first few weeks was, you know, finding your people and luckily, you know, I have people that I can go to in like various different aspects or, you know, various circles and I kind of lucked out in that regard, but I definitely had moments coming here where I wasn't sure, you know, where I fit in or like who I would get along with the best. Is college different from your expectations or not? I thought college would be a lot more of a drastic change than like high school and living at home but actually I just kind of went oh I'm here now <laughs> and it wasn't that much of a dramatic change of pace for me for some reason and that's different than what I was expecting just learning to be like alone <laughs> that sounds so sad the whole schedule thing like you're like it's not like high school where like everyone gets out at the same time you guys all have lunch together you guys get out of school together stuff like that you really got to be kind of your own person i mean i spend more time in the library probably than i thought i did which is fine because i like my classes and stuff but um yeah probably you know you don't not everyone parties all the time not everyone's in the library all the time you can find like a mix of the two it's a lot more relaxed <laughs> than i <laughs> thought it'd be um, it's definitely something where I'd honestly thought it'd be a lot kind of more intense in terms of academics. But as of now, it's not too bad, um, especially, you know, because I'm doing movies. So it's pretty 
easy sometimes or it's pretty you know relaxed not necessarily easy but it's relaxed um you know the the biggest surprise to me is like how much creative freedom there is within our field in terms of you know assignments and whatnot and you know kind of the liberty to have fun um is nice to mm-hmm. have and i wasn't expecting that it's not that hard <laughs> but then i've heard from friends that at other schools like ucs it's like they're like dying so I guess it depends on the school you go to. I think it's the excitement of living alone, like being independent, like you're excited for that, but then when you actually live alone, you get real. I feel like I was really lonely in the beginning, and like um, when you're in high school and like you're about to turn 18, I feel like everyone's really excited to, yay, I'm like I'm an adult and I can do things on my own, I want to like go out and hang out with all my friends, but um, I feel like I grew even closer with my parents, even though like I don't live with them anymore. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it just you're gonna feel lonely, but that's okay. <laughs> Find friends. <laughs> so, what is your favorite thing about Chapman and your least favorite thing about Chapman? I think my favorite thing about Chapman at the moment is just I really like the campus and just the overall vibe of everybody, and everyone is really nice and welcoming, and um, it's really easy to make friends here. One of the things I dislike, though, sometimes it can feel like you're kind of alone with your academics because sometimes you don't feel supported by your academic advisors or things like that. They have resources that you can reach out to, but sometimes it's a little intimidating. But I feel like it's like that with a lot of colleges, not just Chapman. Specifically coming from the Dodge College perspective that is very different from other film schools is that you own the rights to your projects and I think people when they're searching for film schools don't think about this but having ownership over your own content is so important because I think then that overall creates you know prepares you to moving into the actual industry because when you apply for jobs when you apply for these internships you don't have to I don't know if you have to pay them or you have to go through all these legal issues if you've used equipment um but also uh to build off of probably what other people said is that like Collabor- collaboration is such a huge thing in Dodge and that's something that isn't I think that environment isn't as friendly in other colleges but in Dodge like the teachers are always like you know it's time for collaborative and I think people going into film they think of the director's position where it's like I'm you know the omniscient ruler of everything and that I you know need to be my own leader but that's not necessarily true and something about this creative industry which I hope comes through and a lot of people say about Chapman and Dodge is that we're all very um, open to work in collaborative settings versus from the leader position, which is very good. <laughs> Favorite is definitely just small campus, um, easy to go to classes, especially if you're living on campus, and um, living with uh, other people is kind of annoying. Not my dorm, my boys, not my roommate, but just other people. And yeah, you hear a siren at night, it's pretty annoying. Yeah. What are you looking forward to most at Chapman, whether it's academics or just like personal growth? Getting my degree. So four years from now, you can get that yeah. piece of paper with your name on it that you paid lots of money for? Yep. That's it? N- nothing else? No personal uh, growth? No, nah, I'm good. I think I'm looking forward to producing APs or thesis films or just working on sets in general because that's what I want to do and it feels really exciting because like I get to do that here. <laughs> Um, I'm most looking forward to the classes here at Chapman. I think right now as a freshman, I'm taking a lot of the principles and intro classes, which is uh, which are a little bit more like theory based. Um, but I feel like Chapman has a lot of resources um, when it comes to film and media arts in general. So I'm really excited to kind of utilize those resources and make projects and to also just collaborate with a bunch of other creative um people that are in my major and in my college so yeah um really just like finding my niche within filmmaking uh because you know chapman's like especially the film school's like oh this isn't a film school it's a liberal arts college it's a film school (laughs) Uh, i mean yeah i can take classes that aren't but i feel like at least for me i'm gonna use and abuse it like a film school because there's so many different classes here in terms of filmmaking and you know, different avenues like animation, virtual reality, you know, uh, learning how to use video game engines as new versions of green screens. 
And so I really want to like kind of sink my fingers into every aspect and find what works for me or what I'm good at or what I like doing and sort of exploring that and being able to tell a story through those, you know, new means of doing so to me and, you know, being able to express my stories and, you know, what I want to make with other people through that. Awesome. <laughs> I'm looking forward to, yeah, like my major specific classes. Um, I'm really excited as film production to like work with all the people that I'm meeting now because, um, you know, as we get older, we, you know, and in, more into the years, we start making our own films and stuff like that. I think I'm really excited to collaborate with my friends now. I think that's going to be really exciting. I think that, like, for me, and I'm sure for a lot of people who are probably watching this video, that, like, um, looking for a place that's, like, a stepping stone um, to your career, whatever, um, is probably what you're kind of looking for. Like, not just a college, but, like, a college that will bring you somewhere. Obviously, everyone's looking for that. But, um... I think that Chapman, for me specifically, and I'm, I feel like it would be good for a lot of people, it's like a really good, um, it's a really good place to be, I feel like. Like, I feel like I'm, I'm doing what I need to do to get to where I want to be next, which I think is, that's really helpful, and I'm, there were a lot of schools I was looking at that I liked, but I wasn't sure, you know, they might not have done the same kind of thing, mm -hmm. so yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Yay! <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yes, Kevin, sir. you did so good, bud. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Nasty, get him off the screen. <laughs>